afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Laura Liu. My name is Christine Chang. And my name is Delia Lee. We are representing the management decision-making team from Monta Vista High School in California. As managers of Universal Airlines, we have been presented a problem concerning marketing management. The airline industry has fallen on hard times, and bankruptcy proceedings are following. Following suit may be reorganization or even purchase from another airline. Many consumers are hesitant to purchase Universal Airlines tickets because, we, because Universal Airlines has gone bankrupt. The president wants us, the managers, to reattract business. Bankruptcy in society is seen as a huge negative impact because it shows that your company has failed once and may not be able to function again. What we need to do is to refunction and given, be given a second chance. Usually many businesses are not given a second chance and this is a huge difficulty to overcome. However, Universal Airlines has overcome this difficulty by cutting employees and requiring employee unions to reduce wages so that Universal Airlines can stay in business. Is this your understanding of the situation? By recovering from the bankruptcy, it is essential that we attract employees and find the best consumers. Delia will be addressing the marketing issues and Christine will be addressing the human resource management. As Laura mentioned, it is important for our company to be able to not only retain our current employees, but also to attract passionate um, new employees to our company. It is firstly important to uh, retain our current employees because, as you know, it is very expensive to not to retrain employees and attract and uh, retrain employees. It takes time and money. Um, and in addition, in the beginning of the beginning months of each new employee's um, job at the airlines, it take, there, there's many inefficiencies which would harm the company. And morale goes down because um, the absence of many um, existing employees would uh, break up many of the informal work groups, like the interest groups in the workplace. Therefore, we believe that we must resolve this problem, and this problem in two ways. One would be to offer monetary benefits, and the other would focus more on the social or psychological benefits aspect. Um, so, firstly, to um, focus on the monetary aspect, we would, we could um, offer wage increases. This would um, make the employees feel rewarded for their hard work for staying in our company, even though we are experiencing tough times. Um, however, this would be a detrimental to our company because we have already suffered a, um, a bankruptcy and we do not want to um, see that again. We could also um, reduce our wages, as um, Laura mentioned, we have done in the past. However, this might lower employee morale, which is bad for a company, and encourage them to leave. Um, secondly, we could offer them social benefits, which we believe is more beneficial than the monetary benefits because they do not, they're not as costly. In addition, um, we could, um, Hawthorne's effect shows that um, if you give employees more attention, they'll be more productive and more efficient even though they aren't getting more um, wages. Um, we could do this in the forms of frequent checkups, weekly checkups, um, and give employees feedback to make them feel appreciated. We could also give them constructive criticism um, to make them improve their work, current work habits. Um, this would boost overall boost employee morale and um, overall productivity of our company, which would be beneficial. Um, in addition, we would like to attract new employees um, because this is a good investment. We want to keep our current standard of quality and customer service. So in, it, it, in order to do this, we could um, implement ad campaigns on TV or flyers on billboards. However, this is costly and it's not very targeted to the uh, prospective employees that we want to attract. In addition, it might exacerbate our current um, bad public image, so we don't really want to do that. In it, um, therefore, we think that it is a better option to um, go to college campuses to um, go maybe attend job fairs and target um, to be college graduates to um, join our company. This is good because it is very targeted unless, unlike the mass public um, campaign. In addition, um, many college students realize that the job market is very difficult because of the bad economy and they might be attracted to our new job positions. And the students at the college would be the brightest, the best students, and be able to provide our company with refreshing ideas to overcome this bankruptcy. So 
so because of the bankruptcy at the moment, we are um, experiencing customers that have lack of faith in our company, Universal Airlines. So there are three possible options we can pursue in our marketing campaign. One of them is to actually um, put forth the fact that we almost that we overcame our possible bankruptcy and really flaunt that. However, we believe that that would probably not be the best option because continuously saying bankruptcy, bankruptcy, that word over and over again puts a, a negative connotation in the minds of our consumers because they have that um, connection with bankruptcy and failure in their minds. Therefore, it would not be a good approach to take. However, another idea could be to actually um, flaunt new uh, additions and new additions to our airlines, such as improvements and, and benefits, such as um, more airplanes, um, bigger airplanes, better service, better quality. Unfortunately, we don't have the finances for this, though. So we don't think this is either this is um, the best choice either, because at the moment, since uh, we had the almost bankruptcy, we're at low finances. We can't afford to do this, and we don't need to attract those rich consumers yet, just to try to get that money. Right now, what we think is the best option is to um, buy for the um, customers in middle class and the lower class. Even though they, don't, they may not have as much money, uh, what we can do is we can put specials and um, lower our um, airline fees for them so that they can afford it and they'll be more attractive. Because for customers, the first priority is always the cheapest price, um, especially for lower class and middle class um, people, so they will be attracted to it, and once we can establish um, a good financial basis off of their purchases and their service, then we can start to expand and um, start to add in those extra features and start buying for the um, upper classes. As stated before, our decisions are to attract to be college students for our future employees and also to attract mi middle class consumers. Universal Airlines must regain financial and marketing strategies to refunction. Also, evaluations are absolutely necessary. Monthly checkups must be, must be initiated to see how the plan is going. If any readjustments are needed, then they must be adjusted immediately. Following suit may be exit interviews to see why employees are unhappy if they leave our company. Thank you for your time and we are now open for questions. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.